Hi everyone, my name is Peter of KissGuide.com and today we're going to explore the selfie capabilities of the new Vivo V9. Selfies are important and Vivo knows that. That's why the company has an upgraded 24MP front-facing camera with AI technology and more on the new Vivo V9. Now, let's see if it is the new intelligent way to take selfies. The Vivo V9 has an improved 24MP shooter compared with its predecessors. It still has the same f2.0 aperture size for brighter looking photos in most lighting conditions. But now, it has AI face beauty tech and AR stickers to add another layer of fun on your selfies. Just take a look at these camera samples. The Vivo V9 has an intelligent type of HDR shooting mode. It allows you to take three different photos with different exposures. From there, it will automatically stitch the photos or select your best selfie for different lighting conditions. Since the Vivo V9 is a selfie-centric smartphone, Vivo improved its face beauty with AI technology. Vivo stated that it uses a database of almost 1 million facial images to determine the age, sex, skin tone, and texture of your face. It can even detect lighting scenarios to shoot well-exposed photos always. It can also improve your natural-looking selfies over time. The Vivo V9 has AI for portrait selfies as well. It can create cool-looking bokeh shots with cleaner edge detection than ever. The Vivo V9 also has AR stickers. It can add another layer of fun to your selfies. The Vivo V9 has Snapchat and Instagram-like filters that makes you look cute. Vivo even included 40 plus built-in stickers to choose from. Take a look at these camera samples. The Vivo V9 has no dedicated LED flash, but it has a bright type of screen flash that won't overexpose your selfies. Take a look at these camera samples. Overall, the new Vivo V9 is an excellent selfie snapper. It is ideal to use on most lighting conditions. For us, it is one of the best selfie phones at this price range. Do you agree with us? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching.